A new child comp has been rising in popularity in the Chinese community, known as Gan Dan or Gong Zi, or Electric Flow Child. Today, we're going to take a look at why this comp is so strong, how to build it, and how to play it. Hey, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about Electric Child, whose core member consists of Child, Fischl, Beidou, and finally Bennett. Before we get into the detail of the team, however, let's talk about why not play Vaporized Child instead. To start with, Childs have a couple unique properties when it comes to applying Hydro. The first one is that when his auto attack, not only his attack apply Hydro, but it also proc Riptide with apply Hydro again. I want you to pay close attention to this clip right here. Notice that the enemy have a Riptide debuff onto them and a Fire debuff onto them. Now, when I attack with Child, his auto attack will apply Hydro status, but actually apply it twice because of the Riptide effect. Meaning that the enemy will be left with a Hydro status and thus your next vaporize must be a Fire source instead of a Water source. These mean that not only it is really hard for a child to consistently proc a vaporize reaction, but it is really hard to ensure that he is the one triggering the reaction and thus the calculation is using his stats instead. Not to mention that the fact that you don't want to switch out of Chao Yi, meaning that the only reliable fire source in the game right now is currently Shang Ling because she can just drop Goba and her elemental burst ultimate. But even then, that's not so reliable. And there's actually one more unique drawback with Chao's doing vaporize combo. Um, while Chao's strongest form unlock using his constellation 6 because then you don't have the problem of range stance, uh, his constellation 4 is actually going to be a debuff for his vaporized team. This is because that this occasionally proc Riptide will apply hydro status, meaning that it will clear the fire status and that means you won't be able to eat the vaporize on your elemental burst, which is what you usually want to do. Take a look at this Chinese clip right here. Notice that after Bennett ulting, applying the fire status onto the enemy, there is a short riptide that proc onto the enemy before Child was able to get his elemental burst off. This short riptide burst cleared the fire status onto the enemy, and finally, when it's time for Child to perform his elemental burst, the enemy no longer have the fire status, and so there's no vaporize effect on the elemental burst of Child. With Vaporize out of the way, let's talk about how Electric Charge inside. Noticeably one of the more unique properties about Electric Charge. When Electric Charge happens, it doesn't actually consume the element of the water and the electric status of the enemy. Instead, there's actually an internal counter of a Hydro status and an Electric status counter. And while both counters are so available, it continuously to perform Electric Charge and perform the bounce. Let's go back to the clip we just saw and slow it down and let's see what happened. Here, notice that the slime have both hydro and electric status applied onto them, but they're not being consumed. Instead, the electric charge will happen once in a while and bounce the lightning around. This pretty much means that the more often you can apply hydro and electric status, the better it is. And knowing Chayo and other characters like Fischl and Beidou, they're all characters that can apply their status really, really frequently. You can play his team composition at Constellation 0 for all your characters, although having Constellation on Fischl or Beidou does make it stronger, we'll cover those in a bit. Although however, I think that this composition is really really free to play friendly. If you have Child, it is most likely that you have Beidou just because she is on the same rate up banner as a 4 star. Fischl was given us to free on the last event, and for Bennett, he's available in the November shop. If you didn't have him, you really should have picked him up because Bennett was just an amazing support overall. Now, Chao is going to be our main attacker, but the main powerhouse of this composition is actually going to be Fischl's. The reason of that is because her constellation 4 reads, if your active character trigger an electric related elemental reaction when also on the field, the opponent will be struck with thundering retribution dealing 80% um, of Fischl attack at attack damage. You can see this in action here. Notice that there's a lightning struck from the sky whenever electric proc doing an additional electric damage. That is the Oz Lightning Shock damage. Now, while Constellation 6 Fischl is not required, the if you have Constellation 6, this is even stronger because every time your child attack applying Hydro status, you also actually attack with your child applying electric damage and instantly proccing electric charge onto the enemy. Additionally, taking a look at Beidou, in her elemental burst, she will create a shield around your current character. And every time that you hit a normal attack, it will create another lightning discharge that can jump between enemy doing electric damage. Again, this work very similar to Fischl, but it further empowered the power of electric charging. 
Moving on to the constellation of Albedo, which is again not required. Her constellation to have arc, uh, make your arc lightning jump to two additional target, which again is really really strong for the empowering the AOE aspect of this illustration comp. For, and for her constellation six, it decreased the surrounding enemy el electric resistance by fifty percent, and again it this further empower your electric charges again. Finally, I want you to take a look at the elemental resonance for having two electric characters in your team. More or less fully, every time you proc electric charge, there's a 100% chance to generate a electric elemental particle uh, with a cooldown of 5 seconds. This pretty much means that you generate a electric particle every 5 seconds because you'll be constantly procking this electric charge. And so your uh, elemental burst throughout your entire team, especially your officials and your beta, uh, it's going to come up really really fast and you can cast them off cooldown. I'm going to slow down this clip, I want you guys to pay attention to the number of purple number there are. Notice that there are insane amount of number that are popping up that are electric damages. And remember, the child are not the people who are applying this, it is the Fischl and the Beto who are not even on the field that are doing this purple number. Finally, as a remark, Chao has really strong AOE potential and being able to apply Hydro onto a lot of enemy quickly. So that now we're applying electric status, we will bounce around all enemy to just further empower the AOE aspect of him and making it really really powerful. Moving on to how to play the composition. Your main goal of playing the composition should be spamming your elemental burst and using all your members elemental burst as soon as they are available. In other words, if you see Beto elemental burst, use Beto elemental burst. If you see Fischl elemental burst, use Fischl elemental burst. Uh, overall however, the combo is generally going to be starting off with Bennett ult applying the fire status onto the enemy. And then following up with the child range form out to use proc the vaporize and applying riptides onto all enemy. Then we're gonna switch over to Beidou dropping fatal elemental burst and switch over to Fischl dropping Oz. Finally, we're gonna enter the melee stance in child and then continuously attack all enemy and proccing the electric charge. Know that you should prioritize applying the hydro status onto all enemy on the field over attacking a single enemy. Finally, remember to never stay too long in child melee form and instead you should be switching out every 10 to 15 seconds and utilizing your support's elemental skills. As for your weapon option, the 5 star weapon Skyward Hub is obviously going to be the best, but the 4 star weapon on the Battle Pass is not bad as well. They're both able to provide crit rate as their substat, and the 4 star weapon from the Battle Pass is able to create like a melee venti saturation event, which is really good because this comp is mostly about AoE, or Chow in general is mostly about AoE. Um, moving on for your Bandit, you want your Fernalia Sword just simply for the energy recharge, uh, and for your Fischl and your Beidou, you want the uh, Elemental Mastery Weapon, which means the Stringless for your Fischl and the Ring Slasher for your Beidou. Finally, for the Artifact option, on Chao, you can use the standard Double Gladiator and a Double Berserker set, or you can use the Wanderer set as well if you have enough crit rate. On both Fischl and Beidou, you're going to be looking for the 4 set Thundering Fury for the 40% increased damage in the Electric Charge bonuses. And finally for Bennett, you're going to want the 4 set Noblest set to increase your party overall attack. As a final remark, I think that not only this composition is really strong, but it's also really fun as well. Being able to see the electric spark between all the enemy is definitely a fun experience. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. I'll be uploading Genshin video weekly, so be sure to subscribe, comment, or like this video below. And I'll talk to you guys next time.